Hello everyone, today I want to talk about the new AI video models, they've updated some of their features. This is Minimax, or in other words, Hiluo AI. The image to video features from their AI video models have been released. I've experimented with a few examples, some based on my previous horror story video scenes and some images, and I was able to generate a result that is highly coherent and performs exceptionally well for all the motions in the AI-generated videos, regardless of the action. As you can see, I just do a very simple text prompt, and it's able to understand what I want the AI-generated result to do. In some cases, I don't even type a single word in the text prompt. This gives the AI more freedom and creativity to generate whatever it wishes. Look at this shot. It's pretty nice. It depicts a woman scientist working in a space station, resembling a scene where she is engaged in conversation while simultaneously turning her head around. Even the head turning around, for example, in here, this part is turning the head around. From one point to another, the head is being rotated. The face, all its parts, and the head remain unmodified. It's actually like a real person. It does not cause any deformations to the cheeks or the sides of the face. Additionally, the neck does not undergo any twisting or awkward movements, so their AI video models perform exceptionally well in image-to-video features. You know, when we had our first try with their initial launch in text-to-video, it already performed really well, so it's kind of getting better and better. You know, when we have newer AI video models, there's a lot more training and data sets to improve. I can confidently predict that the market will continue to improve as more AI-generated video results become available. Like this one, it's very good that it's just following what I want from the prompt and is going wild. The girl gets scared and runs away from the door, and it's able to do camera angles following the girl running out of the room. That's something that some other AI video models don't perform, that much frame transition in one short few second video. There is something that still needs to improve, which is fast motion movement. For example, I have one that generates like this. I generated Bruce Lee in flux, and it's kind of an awkward movement of the hands and legs. It's supposed to be in the text prompt. I instructed Bruce Lee practiced martial art in Hong Kong Harbor. His hand throws two punches fast twice and follows up with a sidekick. It should be like a very iconic Bruce Lee's, but then it doesn't do even 1% of that movement. So, you know, AI video models still need to improve, or they lack dataset training for action movies, or some kind of big movement of characters that still needs to be improved for not only Minimax, but all other AI video models as well. And some of the scenes, for example, I have some recently created Greek mythology stories using realism styles, were created pretty well. I tested a few image shots, and tried to use that for image to video. It does pretty well, even for example, like this one. I have not put any text prompts, it does project what I want it to do. But for example, this one is kind of funny that the girl is smiling while Poseidon is walking in the back. It should be, if I put the text prompt, it will perform better than I expect it to. That's something it missed out on. And here it is not really doing what I wanted it to do, because in this scene, I was uploading an image of this warrior holding up a sword and stabbing an enemy, but then it said it was unable to do that. It is filtered by, you know, this. Maybe it's too violent a scene. So I cannot produce that in these AI models. So therefore, I just uploaded an image and let it run. But then it produced some, you know, weird movement of the warrior holding a sword like this. So far, this AI video model can do pretty well for realistic images and also anime images like this one. And there are some creative touches, you know, the paintbrush that's coming from the right side. I didn't expect that to be created, but it just helped me to create that for the generated result. And there are some fantasy style scenes as well. It's kind of mixed with 3D and hyper semi-realism styles like this. And it's able to generate without any morphing or weird, crazy things going on with this AI video model. This is pretty nice to play around with. So these are introductory videos for these new features that they released for image to video. I think it's nothing new for image to video on the market right now. But 
What they did was keep improving these features, transforming image scenes into a few seconds of animations. It produces really well in the current market compared to what their competitors are doing. And there are some nice examples on Twitter or X.com. Some wild stuff like this one, the transformer transforming from a car to a robot. Or or like these scenes, the woman chewing and blowing bubblegum, it should be. And then the flying butterfly, you know, just stays there for half a second and transforms at the end to another position to fly in the air. It's really something that we haven't seen before in other AI video models. So yeah, you guys should check it out. The Minimax AI video models features for image to video. Also, they have just announced the pricing models for what they are charging for the paid membership. Well, to be honest, it's a reasonable price if that is the way to charge people, like ultimate credit per user. So, I assume they are real. Ultimate is not, like they said, it's ultimate. And that's only limited to like 2,500 credits generation per month. Actually, those ultimate plans like this one, they said, are unlimited. So, I assume that will be really unlimited within that month. But, of course, your time is limited for those 30 days. And, you know, you have to maybe automate this if you really want to accelerate the usage of this plan. But I think mostly people are going for the standard plan. They just want to, you know, try that out to see if this works for me or not, or if this is something that really fits what I need for business, etc. So these plans are going to release in these one or two days. I suppose they will be available for membership subscriptions on their website here. But then I would consider that we should wait for that until we get more features. Because right now we just have the text to video and image to video available in Minimax. And, you know, like other of its competitors, it has already developed all the style control, camera control, and even advanced settings for each generation. It has professional mode and different creativity settings as well. So it allows you to set the temperature of each creativity. But in Minimax, it's really like it's really a simple text box here. Based on that, it doesn't have many features yet. So hopefully they have at least start frame and end frame features for the image to video to allow us to do the transitioning between those six seconds. Or they have video extend for the longer length of the videos. That would be, you know, something better to have. That looks like a very basic requirement for AI video generators nowadays on the market, and they should have something more and enhance and enrich their feature list for, you know, whatever they provide to the users. I think that should be the way to go. And as users, we should observe if this is suitable for us right now or if we should wait for more features to come and then try this service. So yeah, that is it for this video. Very short and quick. Just wanted to demonstrate their image to video generation features and some results like this. Very nice. So we'll see you on the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.